A former UCLA basketball star has his day in court this morning, five years after suing the NCAA. Ed O'Bannon is one of 20 current and former college players involved in the lawsuit. The athletes want to be paid for the use of their names, images, and likenesses in broadcast, video games, and other media. CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford is a former college athlete. He has fought in this case closely. <laughs> for a long time ago. <laughs> and a lot of surgeries. What was your goes. sport? As a matter of fact, I played football. Uh, yeah. That's right. Uh, what's the significance of this case? Well, it's interesting, John, because when it got started five years ago, there was a suggestion that this was going to be Armageddon. This was going to be the last great battle between good and evil, and that if the NCAA lost, they'd be out of business. It cost them hundreds of millions of dollars. It hasn't worked out that way. It, practically speaking, what they're looking for, is, as you just mentioned here, is the, the plaintiffs are saying, we should be able to, if we're in college and we're athletes, and if we're a big enough name, we should be able to license our own pictures and images. So Johnny Manziel last year should have been able to say, according to the argument, look, you want to put my picture on a Wheaties box? Fine. Pay me $10,000. Or you want my autograph? Fine. Pay me this. And I can continue to play. I won't lose my amateur status. All right, so that's what this is all about. So practically, it wouldn't apply to a lot of people if they win. But the concept is huge. Because the concept would be amateurism is now gone. You can be a college athlete, but you can be getting paid not to play. All right, that's a different argument. That's not what's happening in this courtroom. But you can be paid for who you are and okay. your image and your pictures. So what's the flip side of that? I mean, according to the NCAA. Yeah. Flip side is. That, yeah, what's wrong with the plaintiff's argument? Flip side is the NCAA says two things. They say, one, first of all, it, it's, it's always been the core of amateurism that you don't get paid to play. And that's the difference yeah. between college athletics and the pros. They're mm -hmm. saying, otherwise, why do we have a distinction here? We give you and a free college say, education. That's what they say. They say there is a trade-off here. You're getting a college education, which can be worth a, a quarter of a billion dollars at some of the higher-end colleges and universities. And in return for that, you sign. I signed it when I was playing mm -hmm. in college. You sign something that says we'll be able for these four years to use your picture and stuff for marketing for the university or for for the NCAA, and that's the trade-off that they're saying. But the coaches make big bucks, the school makes there's, big bucks, the media makes big bucks. It just doesn't seem fair, they're saying. Well, th there's there's no denying that, that I don't think anybody ever would have thought 10, 20 years ago that you'd have head coaches making way more than the presidents of the United States. Seven, million dollars. assistant coaches are making. I, you know, I, I think the argument is that, that, that players, everybody else is getting money and players are not, it, right. it, 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 it makes a lot of sense at some levels, except if you accept the notion that says the value of a college education is extraordinary. And that's what, yeah. that's what the no people are saying. No middle ground here to find out some creative way to do this. I don't this. think you're going to see a settlement here, Charlie, because it's right now two parties have settled out. EA Sports, which made the video games, and the Collegiate Licensing Service, which was involved in it. They paid out $40 million. And they've said it's in a pool. You guys figure out how to distribute it. But the NCAA is left with no other arguments. So they'd have to essentially concede and give up their core value for this case to settle, which is why I, people are saying it's probably going to go to trial. Yeah. And we'll probably have to, we'll hear, it's by a judge. Okay. not a jury, and then ultimately whoever wins or loses, you get some sort of an appellate decision that would create some new law out there one way or another. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Thank you, Jack.